How much do I have? That's going to be like 140. Man, getting those things goes so fast. Or at least it feels like so fast. Or I'm just farming too much. Or a combination of both. But let's see if I can get anything useful from those today. Arguably, well, it's, it's already wasted the whole roll. Even if it would go anything uh, useful. You farm too much plus one. Yeah, that's that's what my guildia, uh, guildies have been saying as well. Okay, uh, it's not that I really use this kind of shit anymore, but it is high rolled. It is pretty high efficient for like any nuker style of whatever defense. That's the cool thing about crafting. I kind of like the crafting thing because you're going to get runes that you normally wouldn't get so you can at least use the legendary enchants that you get from everything while doing r5 and shit right okay are we gonna quad it on 27 nope but it's kind of bad but not too bad okay this one is actually kind of interesting okay I have no clue but it's fine Did you check how much I use in the... I think it was 70k. I can double check for you if you want. Okay, those are all of the useful stats. But it's low rolled. Yeah, you can still check. Let me check. I think it was 70k or so. No, 75. I was uh, generous. <laughs> and then I even missed like half a day of farming because I was out for dinner and stuff. Well, I do have pretty fast teams. Actually, for balance patch, I would say one of the fewer interesting things about the balance patch is probably the uh, Luna being buffed. Because Luna buff enables probably faster teams in Giants. I'm pretty sure I can get rid of the Tesha Kona. But I'm not 100% sure about that. Because then you have to go back to a Julie and then Julie plus something to play our waves. But you have a few decent options. How important are artifacts compared to runes? Important enough that you, if you're asking the question, you probably didn't farm it enough and you probably have to farm our artifacts. This is Luna team high room requirement. Uh, yeah, this team is going to be high room requirements because the Tesha team is just super low room requirement. What do you think of the light and wind pirates? Maybe something for giants or necro? Thing is, for giants and necro, they have too many, or uh, for giants, they have too many multi hits. So giants is excluded. Necro is an option. I think for necro, they might be not too bad. But it's still kind of weird because they have some attack bar absorbs in necro. That part also doesn't make sense, right? So. I don't know if they're trying to force these units into siege or something, but for PV they kind of feel weird. So I'm not 100% sure what it... Uh... Because I would say that these units are for Necro most fitting. It's actually a good uh, Ikaru room. Whatever. Probably have those already. And... Okay. 33. Most. But yeah, artifacts is pretty important. But I would say that just farm a little bit of artifacts. Like every now and then, just two weeks of artifacts. That's all there is for it. How many times Hey Gang isn't in the balance patch? The last few times that Hey Gang was in the balance patch, he got buffed. But in all honesty, I think I'm one of the few people that says Hey Gang is not that big of an issue. Like, sure, Hey Gang is good, but is a Hey Gang better than a Fire Monkey at the moment? Or is Hey Gang better than Ethna at the moment? Or is Hey Gang better than an Olivor or more at the moment? I don't know. Like, I feel like that these units are all kind of on par. Like, they're good, they counter their own respecting things. 
Hey gang is better than your Pratar. There's a lot of units better than your Pratar. Doesn't make Hey gang necessarily OP. How would you clean artifacts up? I've been farming for a month and uh, now I feel overwhelmed. I would watch my videos on what artifacts to keep and uh, to sell, that kind of stuff. It definitely does help you out quite a bit. I even have videos that would say for every individual unit at that time, um, what artifacts you should put on them. It's a pretty lengthy video, but it's very useful to just get ideas. What kind of artifacts do you want on one kind of units? It's funny, always when there's videos about artifacts, people just don't want to watch it. People just want to neglect artifacts, not farm them, don't give a shit about it. And then say at some point, like, why the fuck are my artifacts shit? <laughs> it's just... People don't want to do artifacts. Happy your light Ivor wasn't nerfed. I think, like, Ivor is very strong, but I think it's in an okay position because the activation rates are not that great. Like, there's definitely more OP units than Light Ivor at the moment. Sure, Light Ivor is pretty high up, but there's more OP units than them. Yeah, I do have all of those RT or uh, all of those artifact guide videos uh, linked in my Discord as well. Light Jennifer still useless? She might be okay. She might be okay, but I wouldn't claim her OP or anything. She kind of became like a budget hay gang that doesn't uh, cleanse, I guess. Okay, I wouldn't mind if you got 27. Bitches! That's all we do. Ooh, this one is actually hella gangster. Death percent on this one. Yes, sir. Don't mind if I do. Fastest in slot, slot uh, five. Even if I have to use all 11 of those, you're gonna get 11. I don't give a shite. Do I actually have? Well, I have four. That, that should be enough. I don't give a shit even if I have to use all four. That needs a fifth, uh, 13, it will get a 13, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Fucking five, please. Thank you. You just have to share, swear, and shout at things. It's the only way how things work in this game. I don't have those. Oh, fair. Ah, oh, that works. Nice. Nice. I like that. I could arguably even put crit rate in here and make it a Masha room. That is an option. So that's quad number 35-ish. First quad on uh, Nem, I think. Well, it's my fastest in slot. Uh, my previous fastest in slot, slot 5, was actually a 25 plus 5. So it's a good upgrade on that as well. Finally, my farming too much gets rewarded a little bit. Wait, let me see what my previous fasts in slot on M3 uh, was. M5. Twenty-two. Okay, it's a good run though. It's definitely a good run. This one is better. It also has all grindables. I like that part. I noticed since I've been farming more and more, and especially since the last uh, where they had like the upping of drop rates, at some point I started stacking my runes way too much, and it was like, okay, I really have to up like the standard of runes that I'm keeping because I was keeping so many runes that are like hero, good on hero, and then blah blah blah, whatever, and I'm like, cool and all, but I'm not even gonna grind that shit. And the moment I feel like I'm not gonna grind that shit, I might as well just sell it. You have two quads on Ancients that are 24 and 25 speed. Uh, that's too bad. I have two Ancients that are 25 speed, but they're heroes. Does that count? I don't have any quads on uh, Ancient, actually. One of them is actually 31. It's kind of an interesting one. 
So I have uh, that one is legendary. This one is hero, hero with twenty five plus six, and then I have one that is not you, probably you. Yeah, twenty five plus five. I could make you plus six as well, because I do have this one, but I don't really feel like uh, it's worth it because I have a. 31 over here and I got another 29 that's like pretty OP over here so I, I am plenty of fine uh, in this pair you rehab swift 4 but your quads 25 well it could have been a lower one like even getting a quad from rehabbing ancients is pretty insane I've been rehabbing the same ancient runes for like ages and I like literally since uh, ancient runes got released I only finished two runes for reapping. Just two. Like all of the others, I just kept pulling in like I don't know how many reaps and they never gave me anything. And then people ask me, well, how do you have rune uh, or how do you have reap targets for that? It's like, yeah, just never finish a rune. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's actually not that bad for damage. Yeah, I have plenty of reap targets for that shit because I just don't finish the runes. A little bit too low rolls for my liking. Nana, so OP in uh, Labyrinth. She is. I always use her in the bomb stage. In bomb stage, she's especially OP. Yeah, Labyrinth isn't really that hard. You just, like, at the start where you don't really have the units, you just have to manual it. That's pretty much it. Do I want to keep this as a reap target? Probably not really. Could be a Leo rune ish. Or Leo counter rune. Why do you go double four? Man, if that thing wasn't double four but something proper, it would have been a nice rune. But I don't have too many rage runes, so it's still not too bad. I can up the attack to a higher number. Oh, this is why that's that soft. I'm like, I'm cranking up like the volume for uh, music for quite a bit right now. I'm like, yo, why is it still so soft? Cranked it down over there. The annoying part of uh, having like volume sliders everywhere now it might be too loud okay ish would not mind a 26 not a 26 my little man how do you get so much i had 14k when we started and it's called farming too much and saving what's up with the period buff it's good for pvp i'm not sure like what kind of route they want to go with the Mainly the light and uh, wind pirates. Could be interesting. That was the interesting one. Probably reduce speed. Could put defense in here, but I think reduce speed is interesting. Still not that crazy high roll though. Never even thought of using her. He's pretty good at setup and that kind of stuff. So in general, Nana's pretty nice. But I always just uh, manual the labyrinth stages. Because labyrinth manual stages just take me like two minutes to get all of them done. And if I auto, it might fail. Or it might be some slow as whatever team. And it's not like you have to do labyrinth that often. I think our labyrinth probably finished. Depends if the guild was slacking. Now if this maxi help. It helps if you manual them. If you auto them with, uh, it's not gonna help. Yay, quad rolling this shit. Almost. I started using Sonya on the final boss. It's actually pretty good. Is there any way you can auto rescue stages? No, I think quad am is probably your best bet, yeah. You miss crit, maybe wrong element thing. I don't know. I'm thinking about if I want to rerune for special leak or not. I think the only reruning I will do for now is just setting the whole Lima set towards Praha. Because they're kind of like similar units anyways. 
Seems like we're looking at a spinning circle over here. But I'm not sure yet if I'll go for proper rerunning. Because if I go for proper rerunning, I might just go for like a super fast Jungnam or something. I think that might be pretty toxic. Okay, that's a crash. Modern speed! Too bad that they're low rolled, because it could have been actually really nice if it was like 12, 28, 8 and then regret in there. But it's still usable. Did any of you guys play uh, Dragon's Dogma 2? I played it the last few days. It's actually kind of a fun game. It's, it has a lot of weird shit. Really weird shit, but it's kind of a fun game as well. What is the minimum speed you put on plus 5? When speed is the only stat. Uh, for heroes you mean? For legendaries I roll everything, but for heroes I think it's 5, yeah. Or even 6, depends on the room type. Because in a lot of slots I already have like 23s, 24s that are garbage and I don't use. Why the hell did I even roll that? Really depends on like what I already have. There's no one-to-one -one exact answer for it. I still have my uh, rune exclusion stuff somewhat loose that I like to double check things. I'd rather take a little bit of extra time to double check if I want to sell or not, rather than selling something that might be good. Just takes a little bit more effort, that's all. Twin Angels good for R5? Uh, I don't think so. This is going to be the, the sad of sad quads. Yeah, this is going to be a sad quad. Watch it. Almost a sad quad. But I think the Twin Angels are more PvP units than PvP. Oh, you mean for a grind? Depends if you want to use the rune or not. Like, I will just wait with it until you use the rune and then you see like, okay, if it's good enough to be used, then I will go for a five grind. But I also put five grinds on things that are literally five speed. Like, if I use the rune, I don't give a shit. Like, the plus one speed helps. Doesn't matter if it's a fast unit or a slow unit. Plus one speed helps. Real? Yeah, why not? Like, wait. Uh, after this uh, rotational show. Did you see some... Uh, I didn't play Special League yet. But I don't... Uh, the balance patch is not applied yet, right? Yeah, hero, it depends on the side stats. If it's just speed, it kind of depends, like, if I need that. Yeah, I think we're gonna see the uh, Water Twin Angel. But I actually have a lot of runes that I have plus five. Flash will be Wednesday, right? Probably, I don't know. Can you share your artifacts ex exclusion? Yeah, you can check my video. But I just want to copy your stats. No, 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 you don't want to copy my stats. You want to copy my knowledge. So watch the fucking video. Gennaro lands. well, there's a lot of units that do that shit. I'm so happy that you don't have to go through that with every individual rune. That would take fucking forever. When is the rush video? It's going to be delayed a little bit. I did kind of fuck up my rush. 
I tried a different offense, which we'll see in the video, but it didn't work out. It was not great. Okay, apparently I uh, missed a few more. What I always do is if I sell, I always go for the repurchase. Check if there's anything with speed that I uh, sold as well. Because for some reason, I can't get it to the setting where it should be keeping speeds on flats. Probably because I hard lock out the flats and then it doesn't lock them back in or some shit. If I just know to recheck that for legendaries only, it's fine. Activation should be 100. I don't know how much uh, the activation is on that unit, actually. Okay, I didn't check those probably for a bit. Sell, sell. Keep, sell, sell. Kind of on the point that most things without speed are kind of just sell. Even things with speed or cells. Everything is cell. Fuck shit. But yeah, rush video will probably be there Wednesday, I think. Why do I only get quads during ad breaks? Maybe we should play ad breaks to get quads all the time. Okay, so in the end we got like two quads or so. One of them speed 27. Which is always worth it. We're gonna get one more quad. Is Devil Maiden better than Rika right now? Well, someone did mention that Devil Maiden has crit rate awakening. So it's worse against Camilla Spy a long shot. Which kinda does suck. But against no Camilla teams, yes, she's absolutely better. Thanks for watching! If you would like to see more guides, join the Discord and check out the content tab which has the dungeon guide archive and the video guide archive which contains all of the guides that you need. Hope to see you there!